Robert. Thank you. Robert. Hello? Yes. Yes. Go ahead. I'm Robert, and I have been in the real estate business since my early 20s. So a couple of years now. Um, about <laughs> close to 30 years, believe it or not, which I can't believe it. I look at the calendar, I'm like, 30 years? I remember the 80s. I remember the like, 70s, too. I started off in small apartment buildings, which is part of the topic tonight. Um, two, four, 20, 30 units, and I grew into bigger apartment buildings afterwards. Then I kind of dipped my toe out of state a little bit and I got into commercial. And the easy thing out of state commercial to start with is like triple net, they call it triple net. So you have a, a 7-Eleven that pays your rent. And so that's fairly easy. Then I got into more commercial out of state. I've been in pretty much every segment of real estate. I've been in lending side, um, private money lending. I've been in investments, commercial, self-storage. Done practically everything but high-rise office space. Um, and so I've got a pretty deep experience in real estate. Today, my main focus is, believe it or not, back to the basics. The one to four unit space, especially in Los Angeles County, is very attractive right now for multiple reasons we'll go over later. So I'm heavily into that. We're, uh, my partner and I are one of the larger um, uh, buyers of the trustees, so it's a foreclosure account, courthouse steps. And there are also many other opportunities like short sales and REOs and whatnot we, we'll talk about later. Okay. The other end of it is uh, do some lending side to a commercial. One of those four economic factors, obviously about any rental property, but particularly right here in LA. Well, basically there are four economic reasons. One is appreciation, but there's also cash flow. And you really should focus, if you're going to buy a rental property, it's, it is income property after all, right? So you should focus on income at the end of the day. Today we're in a really good situation where rates are still low. They've gone up a little bit as everybody knows, but they are low and the cap rates are decent still on the smaller properties, especially oddly enough. So you actually can get a positive cash flow on the smaller properties. Uh, the third thing is that your tenants will pay off your mortgage over the year. If you hold something long enough, you're amortizing your home, bottom line. And the tenants are paying higher and higher rents over the years. And the, the fourth thing, which is fantastic about real estate, the tax benefits are phenomenal. You can parlay a huge portfolio practically tax-free through uh, 1031 exchanges, which is a internal revenue code that allows you to take profits and roll them over into uh, other real estate without having to pay any capital gains. Uh, and of course, you get depreciation right off in real estate as well. So if you start making a large positive cash flow, you could write it off against uh, your depreciation. It's not a real cash loss. It's, it's a paper. It's a paper loss. You're not really losing money, but the IRS lets you take a building and depreciate it over 27 and a half years to be exact. Right. So those are the four: the tax, four. cash flow, equ uh, equity buildup, and uh, uh, tax, uh, depreciation. And depreciation. Okay.